Moving on to Chad, their former president, Hussein Habri, has been sentenced to life in prison. As in, once upon a time, this guy was the president, and today he's facing spending the rest of his life in prison. And he's 73. I'm telling you, it's good to be good, and never forget that any position of authority that you hold is not for life. Habri, who was the president between 1982 and 1990, that's eight years, was found guilty of crimes against humanity, including torturing his own people. He killed at least 40,000 of his own people doing what they call ethnic cleansing. He had only one political party at that time. He was accused of raping women and keeping sex slaves. Now that's messed up. When you are the president and you still rape people, like seriously, what is it that you want that you don't get? I, honestly, I don't know how some people think. He had a secret police at that time called the DDS that were reporting to him directly every single day about how many people they killed, how many people were raped, the sex slaves, like these people were reporting to him every day. So he knew what he was doing. Anyway, he ran to Senegal as soon as he was overthrown and he lived there until he was arrested in 2013. Uh, this is a video of him struggling with the police in court saying that this whole trial was fast. <laughs> the guy still thinks that he has power by the way you'll be surprised to know about this and don't take my word for it listen to this um, he was brought to power actually by the united states by ronald reagan and french support also in these documents see the u.s involvement we see in these documents training of dds uh, officials in the united states <laughs> we see visits to the dds by the U.S. liaison. Whose government this, was it under? Uh, in this the was under States. Ronald Reagan. And I should say to its credit that the Obama administration has been a big supporter of uh, of bringing Hissen Habre to justice. Has contributed to the court. Hey, hey, that is a topic for another day, my people. Hey, hey you see. Hey. Anyway, so a court in Senegal delivered the verdict. It's known as the Extraordinary African Chambers. That is CAE. It's a special tribunal that was set up in Dakar by the African Union under a deal with Senegal. This is the very first time that a former African leader would be tried in Africa and sentenced in Africa. These are some of the victims in court that they're celebrating when their former president was sentenced. Apparently, they've been seeking justice for the past 25 years and they've been fighting him judicially for more than 15 years. Yeah, the only thing that amazed me is that after killing his own people, after raping women, as soon as he left Chad, he started dressing like a religious person. Like, really? Why do they all hide behind religion? That's what I don't understand. That is so wrong. Kudos to my Chadian people for not giving up for 25 years. Guess what? I'm just keeping it real.